talk about today's match? Um, well, I had a tough one today. Um, you know, Dennis came out and he broke me first game and um, was, you know, he came out strong and, you know, luckily was able to hold him off for the first set and uh, started to hit the ball deep in the first and then second set he kind of uh, did the same thing that happened in Tulsa and um, he started to just come in a ton and um, he volleys extremely well so um, it's always tough to pass him when he's up there and, um, you know, the third set was just went back and forth for, you know, a while and uh, luckily I think I saved a break point at 3-4 and, um, you know, luckily I was able to pull it out 7-5 but that easily could have gone either way and, you know, Dennis is obviously a really good player so it's good to get a win like that. Congratulations. What does it mean to win this tournament? Um, well, uh, it definitely means a lot, you know, coming after Tulsa and, uh, you know, it's indoors so it's a little bit different and, um, you know, I felt like that I played a pretty good tournament overall and, um, you know, and, uh, you know, it's obviously very special to, you know, win any college tournament at any level and, um, you know, it's just uh, definitely it's exciting to, you know, have, have a title here. What sets college trends apart from juniors and pros? Um, well, college, I mean, you're balancing schoolwork a little more than either of those. Um, you know, you got to, it's a lot of time management that allows you to, be able to compete here and compete at a very high level and um, you know the players are just as good um, as pros you know Dennis here I mean he's going to be a pro and um, you know he's going to be a good one so you know I you know it's just it's it's not that much different tennis wise you know they're all very good players it's just I would say it's actually a little more with the school balancing you know school social you know and then tennis too. What's it like playing say the U.S. Open? I know you've played the U.S. Open. Oh um, yeah, I mean I've played the U.S. Open, so um, you know it's still very exciting, obviously, to be here. Um, a little different being outside the gates here instead of uh, inside, um, but yeah, I mean it's special, obviously, to be here and uh, you know compete against some of the or the best college players in the country. You know it's it's very fun. I enjoyed the week. Thank you. Yep. Oh, yeah, four love. Oh yeah, four love, five two down. I mean she was very consistent. Um, it was really tough to get into the rhythm with her. I uh, started to be more aggressive when I was 2-5 down. I was like, I have nothing to lose. So I'm going to go for shots more. And it started working. And she started making mistakes. And that's how I got through the first set. And the second set, it was a totally different game. Because I started playing my 100%. And she started making mistakes. So it was, it was a bit easier. But still not that easy. <laughs> uh, were you nervous at all? It was that, did that contribute to the four love deficit? Um, yeah, probably I was nervous. I was never in the final of national championship, so obviously I was stuck in my head somewhere there. And uh, but once I'm on the court, I, was, I start not to think about it. So um, I think it was good starting from fall up down. I started playing my game finally, and start everything started working. <laughs> what do you think is the best part of your game? I would say my forehand is the best part, and serve. If it works, it's really good. But <laughs> not, yesterday wasn't working too well. Today was a bit better. That's why um, most of my service games were much easier than yesterday. So serve and forehand are the best part of my game. Can you just reflect on the week that you just had, beating Mally Burdett, beating Lauren Embry, winning the title? I know. That's that's all right. It sounds like a dream, seriously. Uh, I never expected coming here. I just want to, like one, two rounds maximum, and, you know, once you're in the semifinal, like, oh my god, you're almost there, so, you know, trying to go for it, but I, I never expected it. I'm really shocked. <laughs> you, you're the first SMU woman to ever win an indoor title. Kind of what, what does that mean for the program? And... Oh, I bet it means a lot for the program, especially that we need a lot of recruiting right now, and our head coach just resigned, so we're looking for a new head coach, and I think it means a lot for SME as well as for me, so I'm really happy I achieved that. And how will you celebrate tonight? Oh, tonight I have a lot of homework to do, so <laughs> for tomorrow. So I don't think I'm going to celebrate tonight, maybe in the weekend somewhere, but not tonight, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Can you talk about today's match? Um, yeah, um, we, uh, we played good. I thought, you know, we played a, it was a tough match. They're one of the best teams in the country. Um, you know, they played a good first set. We played a good first set. We had one break point, or two break points, and, and they broke us right back at, like, 5-4. Yep. We played a good set, and, you know, we just stuck with our game plan. And it was a good match. Winning this tournament, what does it mean to you? I mean, second title this yeah. year, so uh, it means a lot. And uh, going um, going into the season uh, with dual matches and uh, with confidence like that, it's, uh, 
I think it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just you know, thrilled we can do it. Yeah. yeah. What makes you guys a good doubles team? Uh, I think returns. We make a lot of returns. Uh, uh, I'm, I think I'm good on serves. Uh, Chase is better on the net, and uh, the mixture of that is just yeah, great, just, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just that, and trying to stay solid and complement each other the best way we can. You not know, play to each other's strengths, and it works. What is it like playing at the site of a U.S. Open? Can't get better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what you you know, this is where we want to be in two years and three years and the rest of our lives. So yeah. it's exciting. Congratulations on being national champion. Thank you. You can talk about today's match. Um, today's match was was uh, very difficult. At the beginning, we came out a little rusty, and they came out blazing. And uh, we just we just held our nerves and just kept going. And uh, yeah. it was a great job. My partner played well, and she just kept me positive and going throughout the rest of the match. Winning this tournament, what does it mean to you? It means a lot to both of us. We came in as a wild card, and we were just we lost our regionals to UCLA, who we beat in the first round. And um, it was just it was amazing just to be able to play here and uh, represent the city. Yeah. What makes you a special doubles team? Um, we've actually played doubles for six years. We played in the juniors, and we've gotten to know each, each other's styles. And she's very good at the baseline, and I'm I'm pretty good at the net. So we complement each other very well. Can I just say that I'm the brain? <laughs> this double team, I'm the brain. <laughs> yeah, she runs the ship. <laughs> what is it like playing on the side of the U.S. Open? That's I mean, amazing. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it's amazing. I, one day we want to we want to be here. So it was it was a great inspiration. Great to be here in the future. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you very much.